we have a problem on the left and it's not Joe Biden's age, and it's not Joe Biden's debate skill. Look, I watched that debate, and I agree. It was horrible. It was terrible. It was possibly the worst thing that could have happened at the worst possible time. Joe looked tired, Joe stuttered, and Joe lost his train of thought. Someone told Joe that he should stand up there on stage and attempt to convince the people of America that he was the right guy for the job by talking about all the things he had accomplished while he was the president. And that was a mistake. Joe Biden should have told America who his opponent was. Joe Biden should have reminded America that Donald Trump was a convicted felon, a con artist, a traitor, and a man that was held liable for sexually abusing E. Jean Carroll. Joe Biden should have brought the same energy that he brought to his rally the next day. But I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. And I know like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. And as bad as Joe Biden's debate performance was, that wasn't the most disappointing thing that happened that night. The most disappointing thing that happened that night was watching the Democratic Party abandon a man that is spending what is quite possibly the final years of his life trying to hold together democracy and the future of this great nation. And look, you have every right to be disappointed. You have every right to question his ability to lead this nation. But if you're going to throw Joe Biden under the bus after a bad debate performance, while the other side of the aisle stands in support of a 34-time convicted felon that did nothing but lie and deflect the entire night, you might want to remind yourself why you supported him in the first place. Four years ago, Donald Trump tried everything he could to overturn or stall the certification of a lawful democratic election. Four years ago, Donald Trump supporters stormed the Capitol building in an attempt to stop the election of a man that was duly elected by the American people. And ever since then, Joe Biden has worked relentlessly to clean up the mess he was left by him. So let's talk a little about what the man that Democrats want to abandon after four years of progress and one bad debate has done for them and every American. Joe Biden passed the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which was the first piece of significant gun legislation in 30 years. It expanded mental health and safety services in schools. He signed the American Rescue Plan, which helped to keep us out of a recession and steer us safely through a global pandemic. He gave access to college debt relief for up to 40 million Americans. He signed into law the PACT Act, which authorized 31 new clinics and expanded benefits for veterans that were exposed to toxic substances. He signed my favorite one, the Chips and Science Act, which will bring back semiconductor production to America, potentially keeping American interests and the American economy safe from global destabilization and the potential of a war in Taiwan. It also convinced companies to invest $300 billion in America. He signed the Respect for Marriage Act to enshrine marriage equality for same-sex and interracial couples into federal law. He supported the Ukrainian cause against the dictatorship of Vladimir Putin by signing the Inflation Reduction Act, which also reduces the price on prescription medicines. He's led the fight for green energy, which creates good paying jobs and ensures America leads the global clean energy economy. He has kept unemployment under 4% for the longest stretch since the 1960s. Biden's regulators filed a record 50 antitrust enforcement actions last year and mergers dropped to a 10 year low. Under Biden, regulators have rewritten the government's lax merger guidelines and have often focused their legal strategy on the harms done to producers as well as consumers. Under the threat of litigation, Amazon, Lockheed Martin, Berkshire Hathaway, and the chip maker Nvidia were some of the companies to back off multi-billion dollar acquisitions of smaller firms. He was called the most pro-union, pro-worker president of our lifetime and was the first sitting president to visit a picket line in support of workers. He has pushed the DEA to reschedule marijuana as a Schedule 3 drug instead of a Schedule 1 drug, saying too many lives have been upended because of our failed approach to marijuana. He pardoned potentially thousands of former U.S. service members convicted of violating a now-repealed military ban on consensual gay sex to clear the way for them to regain lost benefits. And the list goes on and on. Let me make this clear. I'm not voting for Joe Biden because he's a great debater. I'm not voting for Joe Biden because he gives a great speech, and I'm certainly not voting for Joe Biden because he gives political opponents insulting nicknames. I'm voting for Joe Biden because Joe Biden has passed meaningful legislation. 
I'm voting for Joe Biden because his policies ensure the future of the American economy and its people. I'm voting for Joe Biden because he doesn't have to fire the people in his administration because they know how to get shit done. So yes, Joe Biden had a bad debate. And yes, Joe Biden must be honest with himself and the American people about whether he can continue to do the job. And if necessary, Joe Biden must make the tough decision and step aside to ensure the future democracy in America. But if your idea of loyalty is to abandon a man that has done this much for you and your country without having the decency to recognize and appreciate all of his accomplishments, then I don't think the problem is Joe Biden. I think the problem might be you. Remember, good people support good people. And in November, I plan on supporting the man or woman that best represents those values. And I hope you do too. Folks, I give you my words of Biden. I would not be running again if I didn't believe with all my heart and soul I can do this job. Because quite frankly, the stakes are too high. The stakes are too high.